Well, hi Andy. Yeah, sort of an unusual interview for us. We normally don't have two wins in the row, and um, yeah, Saturday we, you know, we did well, and our changes, our second half did as well. Today, another win. We looked good first half. You know, perhaps you'd like to say something about the first half. Yeah, I thought we were fantastic. Thought we started the right tempo. Um, got got after them really, pressed them really hard. And then the, and the quality of the play again was there, as it has been in pre-season games and, and as it was on Saturday. Uh, only disappointing is we just perhaps didn't take um, you know, a couple of the chances that we fashioned. And uh, that said, it, you know, we, we I warned them at half time because we watched Stortford on Saturday and exactly what they did tonight. They did, they were looked a bit edgy first half and uh, and then second half they came out against Dorking on Saturday and played really well. And I thought fair play to them. They came and changed the system. <coughs> Second half, sort of stretched a back three, pushed their wide players high, and it caused us a problem. And uh, we dropped off, and uh, we just said to the players, you know, we've got a little bit of thinking to do about that. But um, listen, take take nothing away from what we've done. You know, we we defended under pressure uh, for a spell. You have to do that in every game. We did it again on Saturday, you know, and I thought we were um, I thought we were worth the win across the whole game. Yes. Uh, just disappointed again. Second half, got the chances again with fashion. We didn't take. You know, Sam Cheney had one. Bill Albert cut the great crosses in that we didn't yeah. finish, but um, yeah, so but you, eight you, out of ten first half and probably a you know a five out of ten second half. Yeah, in the second half though, the um, substitutions didn't seem to have the same level of impact that they had on Saturday. No, no, and sometimes that you know that's that's how it goes. You know, Brandon uh, he had a couple of chances. He should have put one away towards the end, shouldn't he? You know, yeah. and, and that's his oh, kind of oh. stock in trade. That's what he's about. Um, oh. Didn't did that didn't have the impact as you say and. Mickey going the other side, you know, perhaps we lost a little bit of a the direct threat that Bilal gave us, but we just felt we needed to be a bit more solid, you know, and uh, and, and, and needed some energy in there. I mean, we had a very intense game on Saturday and, mm. you know, it, it, it took a lot out of us mentally and physically you know, on the back of a hard, demanding pre-season. And I think you, you won't probably see players fully match fit till maybe the bank holiday weekend when we get around to game sort of, you know, five, six, seven, really. So, um, but a little bit disappointed how we sort of faded out tonight, but as you say, the changes didn't lift us. Junior going on was a bit of a, you know, a little bit of an attempt to shore things up. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not, let's take nothing away from us. We're, wherever we are, we're six out of six. Couldn't ask for any more. Do you think the attitude in the team is now right? I mean, last season through in the interviews you were talking about attitude sometimes um, was, yeah, was there. I, I, Did I've you feel on, that they yeah, was, yeah. It just kept going? At yeah, I've, got, I've gone on record and said that. We brought, we've brought we recruited the right characters. There's no doubt about that. There's a different mentality in the dressing room. There's also a different level of energy and physicality in the dressing room. I think last year with some of the players we had, we'd have got overrun in the second half. Whereas I think tonight, you know, we've still got good energy about us. Although, say, we faded... Um, so yeah, there's a there's a there's a different um, psychology, if you like, a different psyche in the dressing room. Um, I asked for, or I said, quite publicly towards the end of last season, I wanted more men in there. I wanted guys who would, you know, play the same way one nil up as they do one nil down, and don't panic. I think we've got that. I think we've got more <coughs> energy and mobility. If you look at that midfield, Matt Johnson, Sam Youngs. Uh, Sam Cheney, that's with Ryan Blackman away, you know, got huge energy and, 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 and legs in there. And um, that's the difference, that, that is the difference. Um, back four, a little bit, you know, as you, it, again, it, we're on record as saying, you know, we, um, we've got two excellent full-backs. We've got Tafik and Ryan trying to get to know each other, thrown together really by virtue of the injuries we've got. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, kept Jamie Kewitt and fairly quiet tonight, which, uh, you know, is, 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 is no mean feat and... Um, yeah, I'm, re I'm, I'm really pleased all round. I'm really pleased with what we got. So just uh, obviously a few things to take from tonight that we need to be looking at on Thursday night. Mm. Another tough game on uh, Saturday. Yeah. Final question before we go away. Um, and normally I don't look at the social media or what people are saying, but a lot of people saying Liam starting, um, they were expecting it to be the other way, him coming in off the bench. Do you have anything to say about that against well, this? criticism if you like that we should really be ignoring everybody's entitled to opinion everybody can do my job at you know five o'clock on a saturday and ten o'clock on a tuesday night can't they you know we've made a, a, a conscious decision to have liam up there we feel when we're playing that system <coughs> that he secures the ball a bit better for us you know he, and he did that on saturday 
and he kept the game in front of Folkestone's uh, back four and that allowed Brandt to come in and start running the other way going in behind them so if you like it created the uh, the platform to Brandt to go and score we felt the same again tonight um, whether that's the right call you know that's that's for us to decide but I, I understand that you know Brandon scores two what else can he do you know, mm. same for Hope, you know, couldn't do any more than he did on Saturday. He wore them um, out, ready for him to come off. You know, yeah, and, and, and listen, and they're both playing their hearts out and wanting to get yeah. in because they know that Bricknell, you know, <laughs> is, uh, is, is, is not far not far behind and, and will be ready to go, we hope, by the weekend. So, um, yeah. yeah, tough call that one, really oh. tough call. But hey, you've got to trust us, you've got to, you've got to trust what we're doing. You know, but we, what of course uh, have to make. I mean, like, what of course alive? You've got three options. Yeah, yeah. no, no, and that's a biggest dilemma was was what to do up there tonight. Obviously, Greeny being out was a was a blow. Brought Bilal in and gave him his his opportunity. Um, funny enough, Greeny yeah. and, and and Bricknell have both got similar injuries, which um, is a bit disappointing because you know they've both been away for spells in pre season. I think they missed some of the work and tried to catch up and probably probably just sort of fatigued or overextended themselves. So. Um, we hope that corrects itself by the weekend, certainly by next Tuesday. But um, yeah, listen, if those, even with the smaller squad, as we said this year, that, we're, that we've, they're running, even if those dilemmas happen all across the pitch every game, it, I'd rather be in that position than be scratching around and wondering where I'm going to find a forward from or find a centre half from. So yeah, I, I listen, I see it and I hear it, and uh, but I don't think anybody can argue it's uh, three points at the end of the day. Oh, and second in the league. I know it might only be two games, but yeah, you, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's a yeah, very that's, good start. Ask me again season. in February. Uh, if we're still there, I'll be delighted. So, <laughs> so we will. Yeah. Thank you very much, Andy. Thanks, Mark.